G'day kids, Mr. Whiteman here. Today we are going to continue looking at the book of Genesis. What's that? How can we continue Genesis when we just finished Colossians? Well, way back in the olden days, before coronavirus, last year, our church was learning about the first book of the Bible, Genesis. But after 12 chapters, we got a bit tired and needed to take a break. So that's why we are now going to continue looking at Genesis. But it was so long ago that I forgot all the things that happened. So I asked some friends to help me remember. In the beginning, God created everything. Out of nothing. By speaking. And everything God made was very good. The best bit of God's creation was people. Like that. Our ancestors, Adam and Eve. God gave them a beautiful garden to live in their family. But it didn't all stay good. Adam and Eve sinned. <laughs> like us. They had to leave God for God and his blessing. They would grow old and die. Oh no! Don't worry, God promised to fix our problem. Sin! But sin kept on growing and spreading like a bushfire. One of Adam and Eve's sons killed his brother. And from then things just got worse. God had to judge sin. He sent a flood to destroy the world. God remembered his promise to fix our problem. He saved Noah, his family, and a bunch of animals from the flood. Noah's family grew and grew after the flood. But as the family grew, so did sin. God remembered his promise to fix our problem. He called an old sinner named Abraham. And he promised to bless him with a big family and a place to call home. That's so old. He promised to bless the whole world through Abraham's family. The Bible tells us that Abraham believed God and was made righteous. It also tells us that if we believe God, we become Abraham's children in faith and are made righteous too. Let's sing a song about that. How about you stand up at home and sing along and dance too? If you know it. Father, 